and uh, we'll be starting the topic for the webinar is how to choose your career and abroad opportunities so uh, definitely you know you will this uh, session is very informative you will get a lot of knowledge about what are the various career options and uh, you know how to go about with the entire process um, yeah so we'll be starting so uh, guys, let me tell you my qualification. I'm a chartered accountant as well as certified financial planner. So you guys might be wondering that how such a switch in career that being a CA uh, and a C CFP, I should have been in a finance field, right? So right now I am an education counselor. I am a career counselor, which is very different from what I have studied. So guys, let me tell you that I also have made wrong career decisions. So, uh, you know, when I was in my 10th grade and I scored well so you know I did I was not interested in science and you know the option left for me was just commerce and commerce mein aur kya hota hai? CA hota hai. so just like that I took the course I didn't even research on how CA course is all about I didn't even research that and uh, yeah just uh, I I hope that everyone is able to hear me okay no problem i will be going ahead no problem so uh yeah so i didn't even know what ca course was all about i just went with the flow i just went with the flow because all my other friends were taking and i thought that you know it is a good degree so i never knew what it is all about what it is going to land me in nothing at all i didn't do my research at all my only research was that my friends are both was getting into it so that's how i took a wrong career decision and i realized that i took it wrong when uh, you know uh, when i started working in a mnc company i started working i was doing hardcore finance i understood that i cannot become an expert in this field at all so you know that's the reason i took a stand and i thought that you know there are so many students like me who are taking wrong career choices in their life and are regretting or they are doing, uh, you know, they are not happy in their life overall. So that's how I realized that this is this field is has a lot of scope. There are a lot of there are dearth of good counselors, which made me realize that I should get into this and you know make a difference in students' lives. And overall, I researched thoroughly on how to counsel a particular student. It's been like more than five to six years I'm into this, and I have successfully counseled more than 2000 students so this was a brief intro about myself so now what you know why did i tell you my entire story the entire story was uh, you know told so that you know you draw conclusions out of it like how to choose a particular career okay if you are if you don't see your friends how do you exactly choose the first and foremost thing is you know to research it's extremely important to be aware about various career options available at your disposal. It's very important, be it conventional, be it unconventional courses. It is important to, you know, basically understand that what are the various fields available and then take a decision of your life that where you want to land up in, where do you think you can become an expert in. So the first and foremost is you need to be aware of the various options, understand the job opportunities, understand the curriculum, research well. So all these things are extremely important. Okay. Uh, secondly, okay. Uh, secondly, it's very important to select a field wherein you think that you can become an expert. That is also like really, really important to choose such a field, not where there is a lot of scope but where can you do really well where can you be passionate what can you be passionate about so all these things are definitely considered why you choose your career because uh, you know if you end up just taking the course for the heck of it you will get tired sooner or later and you will not be happy in your you know overall life because understand one thing your professional life comprises of 70% of your day almost only 30% is with you 70% you spend working in your professional space you have to be happy and you if you are not happy while pursuing something you should you know your life is encumbering you then I believe so it's really important that you know you choose a career uh, where you think you can be become an expert definitely because otherwise it doesn't make sense to just go for the just spend your life for the heck of it it doesn't uh, you know it doesn't work like that 
so the third and uh, third and most important point is to you know go out of that conventional box of you know ca doctor engineering so all these are conventional courses they are good courses definitely but outside that box also there are so many options so have a flexible mindset that i can go ahead with those options as well so there are so many different courses like you know i would say there is uh, marketing there is uh, biotechnology animation design related courses all these are also actually all these are also actually uh, you know really good so definitely you know you can uh, think about all those options so i have a question over here that do i need a visa to work abroad i will get into the abroad section right now i was just covering the first part of the webinar that is how to choose a uh, you know career but yeah do i need a, just to answer your query do i need a visa to work abroad obviously yes you will need a work visa to uh, you know do anywhere work anywhere be anywhere out of india you need a work visa so that you can work and your employer only you know sponsors that visa so first and foremost before the visa you need to job, find a job over there in that country Okay, I hope I've cleared your doubt, Puri um, Joshi. Yes, the uh, this thing is yes. And first and foremost, find a job, and they will in turn sponsor a work visa for you. Okay, yeah. So uh, that is thing. Uh, that is the thing. Yeah. So I was coming into that point of uh, you know what are the unconventional fields where you can get into. So there is marketing, economics, design, animation, liberal arts. all these are different yet good uh, i understand the fact that you know uh, all these years we have been into conventional courses there are so many people who have become successful i totally understand that but there is lot of competition as well in that conventional courses ka box there are there is so much of competition to become a ca to become an engineer to become a doctor obviously a bright student or you know even if you are not bright you are passionate about it you will be able to crack it i i totally agree but just know about the different options and then choose that you want to become a doctor so you have to get in into the crux of all the different courses available and then make a sound choice that i want to get into i want to become a doctor or else if you are interested in biology there is biomedical engineering there is uh, you know biotechnology where you can get into there is pharmacy pharmacy is also holding a lot of scope so you don't have to be like you know uh, like you just have to follow the herd it it shouldn't be like that you should have your own opinions and you should be selecting such a course where you think that you can become an expert that's extremely important where you think that you can ace it really well amongst the thousand people who are you know uh, applying for a job you are confident that i will be able to crack it because i really like what i doing uh, what i am doing i am really passionate about it all those things need to be there uh, you know within you so that you end up becoming really successful in whichever career you are choosing that can be conventional that can be non conventional anything is fine and there are so many different fields which are coming these days so many so it's always better you research about it and based on that you know you can Take a same decision, same sound choice. Okay, so this was about how to choose a career. I will repeat my points. One is you need to be aware about the various various career options available. You need to research thoroughly about the curriculum, about the job opportunities before you land into something. It's very important to be flexible, and you know you choose. choose a career which is uh, you know out of the box or in the box whatever it is but at least be flexible enough to know those options it's extremely important then fourth is try to select those unconventional courses and do really well fifth is uh, you know herd mentality i didn't cover that points so i would like to cover that don't follow the herd don't follow the herd it is extremely important that you have your own decisions own opinions because you have your own strengths weaknesses uh, you know your own uh, challenges so you need to know yourself and make your decision based on yourself rather than someone else making a decision for you so it's very important that you do not follow the herd mentality 
so that's uh, you know about how a particular career is chosen uh, i would like to get into the abroad part as well so when i said that you need to be flexible enough to know your opinions you should also be flexible enough to think about abroad opportunities also while selecting your career it's extremely important extremely uh, there are a lot of misconceptions associated with abroad education the first and foremost it being very costly and that is not true that is not true at all abroad education is not it is slightly expensive definitely but you know there there are countries which offer you free education there are countries which you know is really cheap better than india as well there are countries with great return on investment though you are initially spending more but within eight to nine months the expenditure would be covered when you get a job so amazing return on investment so if you think a little long term so that would be a very good investment let me tell you so you have to be very open when it comes to uh, you know selecting uh, uh, selecting whether india or abroad so you need to consider abroad options as well and keep the misconceptions aside the first as i said it's not costly it's not costly and there are so many education loans which are available right now so many i mean uh, you know we help you in that as well uh, education loans can make the process very seamless in a way that student can take the loan on their name only and they can repay the amount when they get the job over there so it gets really really seamless uh so you can definitely you know aim for uh, such education loans as well so uh, you know there are countries like germany which offer education for free even for uh, you know international students yes you heard right so it's absolutely free there are countries like uk and ireland the where the cost of the education cost of the masters course uh, is around 20 lakhs itself like you complete your masters and you it's a one year masters visa in india mein agar aap mba karo so easily it's around 20 to 25 itself so it's almost the same when it comes to usa the cost may go up to 40 to 45 lakhs for masters but the first salary what you will be earning after completion of your masters would be good 70 to 80 lakhs so your entire expenditure would be covered in just 7 to 8 months and especially when it comes to united states you get so many good opportunities when it comes to education loan so you know definitely you should be having one abroad exposure in your life always when it comes to career counseling sessions with my students i always recommend so it's not necessary you stay over there completely all your life you can come back as well to your home country that's not an issue but that exposure is something which you have to work on the exposure the personality the confidence the abroad the, uh, you know experience all together it's really good i mean you should be experiencing once in your lifetime and there are so many good uh, you know universities over there indian education is little theoretical it's more of broad learning road learning rather than uh, you know when it comes to abroad uh, universities and abroad education it's more practical so your conceptual understanding is definitely better when it comes to abroad so you should understand that completely i believe that that will make you a better you know person full of knowledge because they will be teaching things from the scratch so definitely you can aim for the masters courses or uh, you can definitely aim for the ug courses as well undergrad education also you can pursue after the wealth abroad undergrad education i totally understand it gets way too costly but it's definitely worth it definitely you know if you think that you know you want to do it right after 12 you are in international courses like ib igcs and you want to pursue your education ahead in uh, the us you can be in ssc hsc board or maybe uh, you know cbsc board isc board you can still pursue it's not that you know you need to be just in ib or igcs board that that is a level board it's not necessary that way uh you can pursue but yeah it's little little uh, you know cost uh, it's little costly and uh, yes i mean but the exposure is definitely amazing so if you think you can afford the education overall and you need that abroad education and you are mature enough to handle yourself at the tender age of 17 18 then definitely you can even if for undergraduate in abroad countries okay when it comes to the masters courses that is pretty pretty cost friendly as well and there it is a most popular uh, you know degree which is taken by international students especially indians 
so you can definitely aim for those courses as well masters when it comes to mba courses mba is meant to be done after at least work experience of 2 to 3 years that is the minimum criteria when it comes to abroad so you can go for mba courses as well and um, MBA is fabulous over there and abroad. It's like very, very, uh, you know, it gives you complete idea on how to do a business, how to run a business, how to do business. And it completely changes your mindset, your thinking, your dynamism, everything, everything. So, you know, but it's, it has to be done after at least two to three years of work experience. So that is a major difference of for masters versus MBA, that's the most popular question which is asked to me that what is the difference between masters and MBA and what should we pursue? Masters can be done by freshers, inexperienced people immediately after the completion of your bachelor's, perfectly fine. Because masters will give you specialized knowledge about one particular area from the scratch. So you can even change your course, for example, if you're doing economics and you want to get into finance, you can do that. If you are in design and you want to get into computer science, you can do that. Anything, you can learn anything and everything. That's not an issue. But master's is a course for that. When it comes to MBA, it is for people who are experts. It is a people who are already experts and already specialized as they have good amount of work experience and now they want to take executive decisions now they want to step up their game now they want to do business that's when you have to do mba now when it comes to b schools overall there are a lot of things especially the gmat scores matter a lot when it comes to doing mba abroad uh, gmat scores when it comes to masters uh, there is gre score which is required in india uh, in uh, usa as well as canada uh, but when it comes to other countries, uh, it only IELTS works. Even in Canada, only for business schools, they require GRE for masters. Otherwise, all the schools work only on IELTS. So basically, only US is a country where GRE is required for masters. Whereas all countries more or less work only on IELTS scores. Okay, IELTS or TOEFL scores. Now, what are these exams? IELTS and TOEFL are English proficiency tests. They test that how well do you talk, speak, understand English. So it's because your native language is not English and it's some other language you are from India. So that's why you need to give this IELTS exam so that they can test that, you know, the course is going to be in English, English whether you are able to, you will be able to cope up with the course or not. Okay, so that's how, uh, you know, the complete thing works. How the complete abroad education counseling, the how the processes like if you are aiming for september 2022 intake the application window opens one year before that is in september 21 the earlier you apply better it is because uh, you know the chances for getting admitted the chances for scholarships everything increases a lot if you apply early so always make sure that come for the counseling session as early as possible so that you have a very good understanding on when to begin everything so uh, basically we help in the complete, uh, you know, counseling the, uh, and the good news is that we take first abroad counseling session free of course, completely free of charge and we'll give you information about the application process, about the, you know, how to go about things, a proper timeline would be given to you. So that will be comprising in, uh, you know, the first abroad counseling session, which is absolutely free in ARA consultancy. So definitely you can aim for, uh, you know, uh, that if you want that, you can definitely connect with me and I, I can help you out. So I'll be just writing my number over here so that, you know, you can, uh, hey guys, yeah. So some of the major things for areas of profile building are participating in extracurriculars that can be sports that can be many debate competitions or anything anything or even you can have research papers published that is one really good way of building your profile you can have your research and you can have it published so it helps you now you guys might be thinking for what it will help so first is first and foremost for a good postgraduate university they will look at your profile. Uh, that is very important. Second, if you are looking for a job, they will look at your overall profile. Though your GPA is good, 
though you have done very well in your academics all over but if you will not have any extra curriculars you will be given lesser preference so please make sure that apart from the gp apart from the academics you should have something in your cv that's extremely extremely important uh, any other questions you have so we help you in the abroad counseling part completely from shortlisting of universities to making the sop and lors to uh, you know just helping you in the complete application process visa process education loan process completely till you fly and we make sure that you get into good universities definitely so we 100% help you in that we also help you in the accommodation forex cards and all those things remittances all those things will be also helped with thoroughly so each and everything basically as i said we till you fly we will be helping you in abroad counseling we also be helping you in career counseling so as i said that career counseling is very comprehensive and very crucial session wherein your career is entirely decided so you know we take into consideration the abroad opportunities the graduate opportunities your attributes your nature overall and based on that we will be suggesting the complete career path so we will also be helping you in that we do specialize in that and we also you know help in the career overall so basically we are one stop educational solution for everything for everything right after your ninth grade you can come to us i have lot of students who even ask for board selection after ninth after 10 which board to be chosen so after 10 you need to choose a board but lot lot of applications start right after ninth as well for ib diploma or maybe for isc so we help you in the complete understanding of that um guys any any questions any questions i will be answering your queries thank you so much credela for giving me this lovely opportunity to talk to students thank you so much i i am really overwhelmed by this opportunity and i would like to thank you for that and uh, and genuinely by everyone uh, any queries any queries you have later on also i have given you my number i will be typing it again over here 